secure is your vote? We sent Paula Tutman out to walk us through the process, and she was inspired by a little schoolhouse rock in this installment of How a Ballot Becomes a Vote. Take it away, Paula. It's just a ballot, just a little old ballot, but it wants to grow up to be a vote. Seems like such a little thing, but there's a lot to mount to make this count. It's the very thing that makes our democracy what it is, a democracy, and that's the vote. Most people who vote blindly trust the process. I guess in some aspects, I do wonder. In Michigan, it's a numbers game. Everything has a number, and that number is checked and rechecked and then rechecked. We have more checks and balances than checks and balances have checks and balances. A ballot starts with you and the coloring of the ovals. It's then sent through an optical scan tabulator that tabulates your vote. And you can see the number of voters so far is zero, correct? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to vote this ballot. The machine accepts it and you get a vote of one. The paper ballot falls into a locked and sealed bin that's not opened until polls close and there are at least two witnesses present, one from each major party. Ballots are placed into a bag and sealed. That's where you have yet another number that has to match what's on the logs. The paper ballots are taken to the main precinct or clerk's office. The two people who sign off on the ballot bags have to be the same two people who show up with the ballots. Each tabulator has a memory card. All of the information is held here. The card has all the data on the ballot, including the vote totals. The tabulator receipt has to match the number of ballots in the bin with the number of people who showed up to vote, with the number of ballots assigned to the precinct, which have to match the number of ballots that were initially provided to the precincts. The results are recorded on a paper totals tape. Unused ballots have to be accounted for. You would need a thousand people to conspire together. To rig an election, it would have to include a massive amount of people, and there's no way that you can get 4,000 people to agree uh, to rig an election for one candidate or the other, whether it's in Detroit, New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, or anywhere else. Okay, and so listen, the simplicity is in the antiquity because an un tamperable and unhackable modem is the mode of transportation. That's how they actually send the information to the county clerk's office. Let's talk a little bit about voter registration. First of all, these clerks are busy. They are screening death certificates. Some of them are even reading obituaries, making sure that dead people don't show up to vote. They basically clean those rolls to make sure that they are clean and everyone is registered to vote. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a ballot becomes a vote. In other words, at least in Michigan, Michigan vote rocks. Kim, not Karen, but Kim. Uh, that's okay, Paula, and we appreciate you kind of taking us behind the scenes to see how that all works. It's an interesting process, and uh, we appreciate the work that those clerks are doing to make sure everybody's vote counts. Thanks, Paula. Yes, they're working very hard. Yep. Have You're a great welcome. afternoon.